Deborah from Housewife Eclectic here. I am here today. We are going to be using a Cricut to make like a, one of those fun vacation savings charts. So I'm just going to give it a minute and let some people hop on before we get started. Let's see if I can find my video here. Give it a few shares. So um, we are going to be using some really like, uh, so our basic, um, like the base for the jar is going to be amazing. Easy. I like the big ones because they have a nice um, flat surface to craft on so you don't have to worry about the curve of the jar. So I like that. So that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using some glitter vinyl because glitter. Um, give me just like, hi Brandy. Good to see you here. Um, I just need to grab the link. Let me turn the volume down on my computer so I can't hear myself talking because that's always a little weird. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the link to my video here, give it a few shares, and then we will go ahead and get started. Um, I'm excited today. We are going to be using glitter, heat trans, uh, not heat transfer. I use a lot of heat transfer. Um, glitter vinyl. Um, I will show you how to use transfer tape, um, all that fun stuff. Share, maybe. So we are making a vacation savings jar. If I can type and spell and all that fun stuff. So, uh-oh, I am? Emily says, is anyone else having that problem? It doesn't tell me that my, my feed is bad or anything. Um, Brandy, we are making a vacation savings jar today which should be fun and easy. And I hope I'm not, I'm still not cutting in and out. Okay, Brandy says hers is good. So uh, hopefully, Emily, it just needs a refresh. I'm hoping that's all it is. If not, that's a little stressful. Um, Cause it's not telling me that my stuff is bad. Usually tells you if your stuff's bad. So um, what I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna be using a Cricut. Um, uh, um, I have both, um, a Cricut and a Cameo. I don't know if you've ever watched my shows before. Um, I've got both machines. I like both machines. <coughs> they both have pros and cons. Um, I feel like the Cricut is so much easier to, to walk somebody through, to teach them how to use it, to show you, know, to show you the project, show you how to, to do this on your own. So that's what machine I usually use in my life. So that's what we're going to be using today. I've got a Cricut Explore Air. Any of the newer Cricuts will work for this. The Cricut, the Cricut Explorer, the Cricut Explorer Air, um, anything like that will work um, Will work the same way. Um, so I do have, I know always some, as soon as I start using the Cricut, someone pops up and says, oh, but I love my Cameo. I've got the Cameo, it's over, it's over here. Um, it's a great machine. And um, this is just easier, it's really a lot easier to walk somebody through. So that's what um, I am gonna do today. Um, we are going to, a lot of people have been want, wanting to know how to, uh, we've done heat transfer the last few times, and a lot of people have been wanting to know how to make, do vinyl and do the whole um, transfer tape and everything like that. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to walk you start to finish through a project um, so you know how to cut vinyl and you know how to weed it and you know how to use transfer tape and all of that good stuff. So this will be um, fun and easy. Um, I don't have you mirrored right here, so everything might be a little bit backwards to you. So hopefully we can, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. It makes it so I, it's hard for me to read the comments that you guys are leaving and, and answer your questions when I'm, when it's um, mirrored. So um, the very first thing we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, create your design in um, design space and then we'll go through cutting it and then we'll go through weeding it and then we'll add the transfer tape and we will go through applying it to our jar and then um, that's pretty much it it's pretty easy and fun to make so um, I don't know if you've ever seen like these vacation jars people always have make these little jars to have a place to um, collect their change for something fun in the future and Everything. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've seen a lot of Disney jars, um, which is super cute. I don't think that's what we're going to do today. What I want to do is I want to create um, a jar that kind of has like a map on it, like a globe type thing. 
and then um, something that says like adventure awaits on it. Um, so that after you've gone on your vacation, I mean, you could always use it for the next vacation, but after you've gone on your vacation, you can, um, save it for, you can add like mementos and stuff into it. So it's kind of, um, something that's not, you know, it's not going to like go to waste after. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you can always do, um, the super cute ones I've seen with like Mickey Mouse heads on it and they say like Disney money or Mickey money or something on it. So. Um, that is always an option. I'm going to turn you guys, you won't be able to see me, but you'll be able to see my computer screen so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to move you to my computer screen. All right, look, you can see me there as I talk with my hands over and over and over again. Okay, so we are going to go to Cricut Design Space, which is just design.cricut.com. And then we are going to hit the big um, plus sign right here to get started on a new project. So you have a couple of um, options when you're working with images on a Cricut. You can use one of their images, which if you have their Cricut access, um, a lot of those are free, which is like their subscription every month, or you can upload your own image. So we might, I think we'll play around a little bit with both today and kind of see how it goes. So if you want to upload your own image, um, I you just go to Google and you search um, map. Let's see. We probably want a map, world map line drawing that'll get us what we want. So you want something basic? Oh yeah, I think we're going to want to upload our own image. So um, now when you hit, when you type in line drawing, that's going to take away a lot of the excess, um, s the extra stuff, which makes it a little bit easier to to upload and to weed and everything. So um, I've always found that typing in line drawing after what you're looking for is always a good way to get a good image to trace with your Cricut. So um, coloring page is another really good way to get what you're looking for with your Cricut. I think I like this one. And that's actually what this is. It's a coloring page. So let's go ahead and save as, save to our computer. Now, um, in our Cricut, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit upload. Can you guys see that? Let me turn you just a little bit more so you can see the menu. So hit upload right here. Um, upload your image and then you're going to find it from where it was saved on your computer. Mine just saved on my desktop. So um, then it's going to ask you what kind of image is this? Is it simple, which is an image with high contrast colors and a tr transparent or monochrome background, which is pretty much what this is. Um, Moderately complex is simple details in color with good contrast or complex is image with fine details, blended colors, or long contrast. So that um, complex, <coughs> complex is usually what I use if I'm trying to <coughs> actually scan an image, like a, a full a picture. Like a snapshot. I think this is going to be a simple image, so I think we're good. So I'll hit simple. And then this is the select and erase. You're going to use this magic tool to get rid of um, all of the areas that you don't want um, in the, that aren't going to be cut. So this is actually, um, I clicked once and it actually did a really good job. I just needed to click on the Mediterranean Sea to give that a little bit more. And I think we're good. So we're gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna save this as a cut image. So we're gonna save. And we're gonna insert it into our program. So there we go. We've got that one. Or if you don't want to have to go through the effort of finding your own image and uploading it, you can go ahead and click on the images button, which is over here in the corner. It's right here. And then you can type what you're looking for and it will search among all of the images. These are all the images that used to be cartridges for um, the Cricut. So I'm going to just type in maps and see what that brings up for us. Nothing good. So let's try a map. There we go. That's a little bit better, but those are more like treasure maps. So I wonder if I hit um, maybe globe. Um, I like that one. This one looks good. So this um really good if you don't want to have to like find your own um, images and everything. So you can see if, if they've got the little green... um. Cricut access button on them, that means that they are 
um, part of their subscription service. So if you have their subscription service, it would be included. Or you can see some of them have a price on them. You see that? That one's like 99 cents. And you can go ahead and purchase those if you want. Um, I like that one. Mm -hmm. What did I type in earlier? I was looking at images earlier. I think I typed in world map, maybe, or this world. Aha, world. That's what I typed in. So there are a lot of those images that you can use or buy. What works for you? I really like the one that we just scanned, so we're going to go ahead and use that. So let's get back to our map on our screen here. There we go. We are gonna figure out, so um, I'm gonna scoot you back at this place so you can see me for a minute. Um, I had my measuring tape, where did it go? It's right here. My kids love my measuring tape, so we walk off with it all the time. So here is our jar. This is um, a, a larger jar, which is what I kinda like for crafting. Um, obviously the smaller your jar, the smaller your surface is for crafting, which is, cannot um, work as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of, um, I'm going to kind of go from curve to curve, which is about four-ish inches. So that means that I've got about four inches um, that I can work with that it can be wide. So that's actually what it is right now, which actually looks a little small. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe we should um, make it a little bit bigger and just have it go over the... Um, since since we do have a gap in between, it should be pretty easy. Sometimes when you have a continuous image, it makes it really hard to apply to the curve. Um, but I think since there's a gap in this image, it will be um, easy. If you're just hopping on, I'm Deborah from Housewife Eclectic. We are making a vacation saving jar. Um, I also thought about making a swear jar, but I don't want to encourage my kids to make me put money in it. So here we are, we've got our map, and now we're gonna add our text. So the text I want to add is Adventure Awaits. So now our next step is we need to find a good font that we like. So we're just gonna go up here, this is where our fonts are, and hit the drop down menu. And this is the same thing as um, what I was just talking to you about with the images, if it has an A on it, that's a Crocus Access font. So if you subscribe to their Access, then that is free to use. Or some of them have prices on them. Or it also pulls every font from your computer. So see all these that don't have a price or a Cricut Access on it? Those are fonts that are on my computer. So you have lots of options. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll until I find something that I love. My husband thinks I have terrible. See there, some of them have the font price on them. Um, so I've never actually bought a font on here. I always just use the ones that are on my computer, but that's totally up to you. If you find one that you fall in love with, um, obviously you're going to want to buy it. Um, let's see. I don't know. Fonts all start to look the same to me. My husband's like a huge font snob. Um, when we go see movies in the movie theater, his favorite game is to say, <laughs> Lorene, because I was hoping you would put, oh my goodness. Okay. We're done. We're changing it. It's no longer Adventure Awaits. It's all in Z. If I can type. So with the all in Z, do we put the hyphen between the N and the SY? I've seen it both ways. Let's look it up. So I don't know if you guys are not um, Doctor Who fans, you wouldn't understand why that's funny. Um, it is so a hyphen between the S and the Y. Um, it is the tenth Doctor's like catchphrase from Doctor Who, and basically <coughs> it's just friends for Let's Go, so it's perfect um, for a thing like this. So let's put that hyphen in there. All in Z. If you ask my three-year-old what the doctor says, she says all of these. It makes me very happy. Okay. Now let's find a font. Still go back to finding a font that we like. Dude, that's perfect. Lorraine, I'm so glad you got on. If you had said that to me later, I would have been so sad. Nope. So I think it's so hard to tell what a font looks like when you're just looking at it from the... 
my seriously my husband tells me all the time i have bad taste in fun so i was telling you one of his favorite games ever is to go to a movie together and then after the movie is done and the credits are rolling <coughs> he loves to sit and play the what font is that game on the credits and i'm always i don't know like why would i know that and he's just like oh it's such and such and i'm like the fact that you know that is a little disturbing okay what are we thinking of that font someone help me told you i have bad taste in fonts apparently yes no i'm gonna change it since no one's giving me affirmation okay i like that one there we go i kind of like that what do you think of that okay so that's really so we are that's the design part guys that's where it's we're done it's really really easy um, so now we're going to do the cutting part, which is also easy. So I'm going to scoot you back here. Whoa. Knock you off the desk. Okay, so here is my Cricut. I'm going to open it up. Turn it on. And then I'm going to open it. So I just got a, this is one of those like sampler packs of Cricut glitter vinyl. Um, I like the sampler packs. I think they're an easy way to, to test out the material and the colors and see if you like them. So this is just, it has like one sheet of um, a bunch of different colors of glitter. So let's open this up. I like, seriously guys, I can never get the paper off of it and I always end up tearing it. See, like this, ridiculously tearing it and then, you know, people ridiculous so the paper just has instructions on how to cut and stuff like that so if you're ever you know worried you can go ahead and go through those um this isn't my first rodeo so i'm not gonna go ahead and read that stuff but if you are brand new that's good information to have okay so here is this this is the glitter vinyl sampler oh it has transfer tape in it already look at that i'm gonna have to go find my transfer tape so transfer tape is something you're going to need when you um, transfer the vinyl from one place to the other. So that's good that that's in there. Um, so this is the sampler pack. It's just got, I think it's a 12 by 12 sheet of gold and silver and pink and purple and blue and black. So just a little bit of each so you can try them out. And then a piece of transfer tape, apparently, which I didn't know. Um, so I'm trying to decide what color. So the first thing you are going to need is you are going to need your cutting mat right here. So peel that plastic off of that. And then you need to decide what you are going to cut out of what. So I kind of want to cut, should we cut the, let's do black and gold guys. So, um, if you want it to, if you want your Cricut to recognize that you're cutting different, that you want to cut out of different colors, you just go ahead and change the color on the map. Okay, so we're going to do black and gold. So, um, we're going to go ahead, sorry, I moved you too fast. We're going to go ahead and hit make it, which is up here in this corner. And then it will, do you see how it automatically sorted it onto the um, different maps for us? Sorry, I got distracted by something on the thing. I think it, <laughs> we're in the coloring logo thing. We're just going to have to not weed that off. We're just going to have to weed that off. Um, so it sorted, you see how it sorted it into two maps for us already? So that's one of my favorite features is that it knows that we want to put it out of different colors. So it's going to make it easy for us to cut it out of different colors. So I got my black glitter vinyl here. You know this was regular vinyl, but I glitter all the things. So my, much to my husband's dismay, I am a glitter lover. So we're going to, yeah, so those pages, those fit perfectly on the, on the mat. So they are 12 by 12 sheets. So you're just going to go ahead and smooth that glitter vinyl down, glitter side up. So um, with heat transfer, you always need to mirror um, because you cut it opposite. But with vinyl like this one, we're actually going to cut straight onto the mat like this. So you don't need to mirror it. It's just going to cut like it's you see it. <coughs> Man, I swear, I never cough until I start doing a live video. Might be all that talking. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to turn you so that you can see my machine. 
see, is that work? Can you see it? Let me see if I can push it back just a little bit so you can see. Um, we've got our mat here. You, there are these two little um, like holder things. You just want to make sure the mat gets under that and then you push the arrows to feed it in. Okay, I might have used, I should have maybe used a strong grip mat for the glitter vinyl, but I think we'll be okay. So now um, you need to select your um, what you're cutting out of. Um, you can use Vinyl Plus for this, or you can, um, I think there is a, a custom one. Let me look really fast for you. So if there's a custom one, you set the dials to custom, and then you tell the computer what, what the, um, so go ahead and let's turn it to custom and see. Oh, no, glitter iron on. We are not glitter iron on. We are not iron on, not paper, vinyl, glitter vinyl. There is one. So go ahead and set it to custom. And then on the screen, you're going to want to set it to glitter vinyl, which is, yeah. um, if possible, you always want to set it to almost as close to what you are cutting as possible because that will help it, um, it, and then hit the, the flash and go button and it will start to cut. Um, that will help it make sure that it cuts the right thickness through the vinyl. Um, cause sometimes when you're cutting something that's really, um, like a piece of paper or something like that, you're going to want it to not go as far through versus if you're cutting like leather, which by the way, I have done before with this machine. It's pretty awesome. So, um, we are just watching that cut right now. It's going to take us a little bit of a minute here for it to cut. And we are just going to chill here. And so I'm going to introduce myself to you. So I am Deborah. I blog at Housewife Eclectic. I've been blogging for almost, I think it's nine years now. It's been quite a while, um, which is sometimes hilarious to me that it's a, been doing it for so much of my life. Um, so I do a lot of geeky crafts. I love Harry Potter. I love Doctor Who. Doctor Who is probably my biggest fandom, but I end up doing a lot more Harry Potter crafts because um, I have um, some awesome friends that are big into Harry Potter that um, kind of end up playing off of their blog series and things like that. So I, if you want to see a lot of Harry Potter and Doctor Who crafts, you can find them on my blog, which is housewifeeclectic.com. So also, if you want to see all those things, you can go ahead and go up to the description. I have linked to my Facebook page right there, so you can go ahead and give that a like so you can see a lot of those things. And I do a lot of stuff with the Cricut just because it's easy and fun and easy to look professional. Um, so if you go up into the description, you will see um, you can like my Facebook page. I'm also like super close, guys. I'm super close to 25,000 fans on Facebook. So if you want to help me out, you can go ahead and go up into the description and give that a like. Um, so we are just waiting for this to cut, uh, cut right now. It is cutting out the map, and then we will take the map off the map and we will switch it to the gold for the all -in -Z. And then we'll put it on the jar. So super easy. Oh, and I also have a new toy today that I'm excited to show you guys. So I got one of those new, um, I don't know if you've seen them, if you're in the world of, of crafting or whatnot. So this is done. This is, it's flashing to tell you it's ready to be spit out. So you press it and it'll spit it out. And um, the best way to get something off your mat is to flip it and pull the mat from the material, not the material from the mat. So um, let's go ahead and cut our gold really fast and then we will get started on weeding and I will show you the easiest way to do all of that. Thanks, Janet. That was nice of you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add that our gold glitter vinyl to our mat. Secure it down. We're going to feed that back in just like we did with the black one. And then we are going to hit go again and it will cut um, our words for us. So that should be a lot faster cut because it's um, a lot smaller than the <coughs> than the um, map. 
So we're gonna go ahead and let that cut and then I will show you my new toy, which I'm super excited about. It's like way fun. It actually came on my birthday, which made it a birthday present, I think. So it's a fun new toy. My kids like wanna play with it really bad and I keep being like, this is mommy's toy, don't touch it. Um, so we are gonna, especially, this is a really, like, this, so this is my new toy. This is a Cricut Bright Pad. I don't know if you've seen those before. It's basically like a, a big version of a light desk. So this is done. So, um, Ashley wants, Ashley wants to know if I have made car decals with the Cricut before, and yes, I have. Um, she wants to know what the best, what shirt, which vinyl to use. It depends. So there is outdoor vinyl or indoor vinyl. Your outdoor vinyl is going to last longer, but it, um, and it's also going to stick to your car really, really well. So if it's something that you want to keep on your car for a long time, I would use the outdoor vinyl. Um, I can't think of the words I was going to say. Let me scoot you guys this way so you can see me working with weeding. Let me. See. I'm always nervous it's going to pop out of my tripod when I do this. Okay. There we go. So this is my Cricut Bright Pad. See? Woo! Woo! I should start to tell you scary stories now. So um, with glitter vinyl, it is pretty hard to see exactly what you're doing. Can you see how it lit up the map for me? So I can see exactly where to weed, exactly where to trim. So it's really nice for um, cutting. So the problem I find with decals, which is what Ashley was asking about, um, I have made a lot of decals. Um, they are going to, so anytime you put a decal on your car, it's gonna fade differently from the rest of the paint. Does that make sense? So if you ever take the decal off, it's gonna, the, the paint, behind the decal is actually going to be brighter than the rest of the car. So I'm, I don't usually put decals on my own car, but I have made them for other people. Um, so I would use outdoor vinyl and the best way to, so here can you see how the all and Z, um, lit up there. So the best way to use outdoor vinyl is stronger. It's meant to be outdoors, um, on a car. Um, words words that need to come out of my mouth um the best way to put it on is it depends on how complicated it is if it's a simple decal i would just peel it off and stick it on with your hand because um putting transfer tape on your car i i'm hoping i i've never had to use the transfer tape on the car i'm hoping that it wouldn't pull the paint off um i feel like if you're going to use a decal you definitely want to use regular transfer tape and not the strong grip which is what i've got right here the strong grip is <coughs> is perfect for things like um, glitter vinyl, which is what we're working with right now. So if you look, so you see how when you look at my glitter vinyl, you can't see anything. Actually, that's perfect. I would do it on the window too. I mean, I see it on the paint all the time and that just stresses me out. Um, but if you do it on the window, I would use transfer tape. No big deal. Just stick a sheet of, sheet of regular transfer tape over the... Um, your vinyl, which I'll show you how to do, and then you can just transfer it. So this is, so if, can you see how hard it is to see what you need to weed on that glitter vinyl? This is why the bright pad is so cool. Can you see now that we can see exactly where to weed? It's freaking my phone out. This, like that I'm holding this bright thing up to it. So you set your thing down on the bright pad and it will show you where you need to weed. So you can go ahead and pull out those edges. Um, I use a hook when I weed. This is my favorite Cricut tool. Um, so you just go ahead and pull up. I wanted to do one of those stick figure families that like, um, have you seen the cute one that says like my stick figure, my stick figure family is a nightmare and then they're all like the, um, the, they're dressed like nightmare before Christmas. I think my kids will get a huge kick out of that. So it should pull really, really easily and well. I am, it is pulling up a little teeny island here. So we're going to go ahead and push that back down with our hook. 
that is what part of what makes the bright pad so great is that it's it's easy to see that it's what it's pulling out and stuff like that. So we just keep pulling. So now we're weeding Russia. Okay, so this is how so you see how I'm just pulling it off. Um if you got a really clean cut, it should just pull really easy. Sometimes it won't pull really easy if your blade is really old, so watch that. Nothing is worse than having an old blade and not knowing it. And I won't lie, there's been times where it's been, it hasn't been worth the material to me. I've actually just recut the thing. So the bright pad is making it so easy to see. You see that again? To see where I need to, to weed. It's kind of a fun, a fun thing. We, my mom, when I was growing up, we had a light desk. It was little, teeny tiny, and we used to use it for tracing. So that's, um, my kids love this because what they love to do is they love to put a coloring page down and then they put a shirt on top of it and they trace it with markers so they can make their own custom shirts. I think that's pretty darn awesome. Okay, so there's the big part of the glitter um, all weeded out. So we just need to weed out like the Med Mediterranean Sea. And then we need to take this off over here. I think this is just the... So let's weed out over by the Great Lakes and weed out the Mediterranean Sea. So obviously this is not perfect. Like it's not, it doesn't have all the details, perfect details of the map. If that worries you, you could always, you know, make sure that you have a really highly detailed. I chose a less detailed map because I knew it would be easier to weed and everything and show you. So there we go. There's our map. Super cute, huh? So now we're gonna weed <coughs> our all in Z. So I'm gonna show you again with the bright pad. See how hard it is to see where that the word is? And then if we when we put it on the bright pad. Can you see that? I can't tell because it, it, it's wigging out the camera. Can you see that it says that you can now see where the all in Z is? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and weed this. Yeah, so this is like my brand new toy. <laughs> it just came on my birthday. My husband's like, what is that? I like, I needed it. It's fun. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and peel the on Z. Um, everything that's not connected should peel really easy. Everything that is connected should peel really easy. Like the centers of your ends and your S's and everything like that, those are all connected, so it should come right off. The one thing you're going to have to go back and do... You see how that all peeled really easy, except now I need to do the centers of my A's and the centers of my O's. So this is the, yeah, so this is the first time I've ever done the Cricut Bright Pad on a live. It's really fun. Although it's kind of making my eyes hurt to stare at the bright light. I think I need like a piece of paper over the rest of it since I'm working with such small pieces. So we'll get the center of the A out. It made it really easy to see where what needed to be weeded and where, which was way nice. Sorry, I'm trying to... I end up with little pieces of vinyl and heat transfer all over my house. Okay, so we're going to turn that off, which is going to make that... So we've got our map and our Allen Z and our jar and our strong grip, our strong grip transfer tape. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of figure out what size of transfer tape you need. And then that's what you're going to cut off. So I'm just going to lay this on backwards on this and kind of cut around it. So you have, I mean, obviously you don't want to waste anything. So there we go. Take the, so now we have our map and we have our piece of transfer tape. If I could peel the transfer tape, that would be awesome. Come on. Oh, it's got a little edge there, that's why. Okay, so now you peel up your transfer tape. And it just looks like this. It's just a clear, it's got a grid so you can line things up and make sure that they're straight. So you're just going to take it, it's sticky on this side. Can you see how it's stuck to my finger? You're just going to take it and lay it over top of your map. So now my <coughs> transfer tape and my map are all in one piece right now. 
So then you are going to take a credit card or a scraper. Um, I have the scraper, so I'm just going to pull that out for right here. So my scraper looks like this, just like you can use the edge of a credit card. Um, but this is one of those awesome tools that you're definitely going to need if you are doing vinyl. So grab your credit card or grab the edge of your scraper, and you're just going to slide it on the edge. Because um, this the back of the vinyl is sticky. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to make the transfer tape grab the vinyl um, more than it's sticking to the back. So you want to smooth that on right back. And then you are going to peel the transfer tape off. And it's not coming. So let's try that again. Come on. Oh, I thought about it. I thought about coming. So if it's not coming, one of the best way, what the best thing to do is to just grab your hook and grab the edges and pull the edges down and put them on the transfer tape. Um, this will kind of help it all pull. Come on, Bessie. You can do it. Um, Ashley, I have Ashley wants to know if I've ever used clear contact paper. Um, yeah, I have. Um, it's it all depends on what you've got. Um, for things like the glitter vinyl, um, I prefer the transfer tape. But honestly, contact paper works great. It's not in the. It's not doing such a hot job right now, which is frustrating. So I'm just pulling slowly and pushing down with my hook as I pull to get things to lay where I need them to. So with contact paper, I tend to, um, sometimes it's a little too sticky. It's hard to get the stuff off of contact paper. Um, depending on the contact paper you use. So sometimes when I use contact paper, I'll stick it to my shirt a couple times just to kind of lint it up a little bit so it's not so sticky. So I'm just, well, it's not doing too bad though. Just take your hook and slide it under the edge as you peel to help get those things to stick. Oh, now it's working great, guys. I shouldn't say things like that. That's when things go wrong. As soon as I say something's going awesome. Oh, Lou's in Iceland. Iceland, stay, stay. Okay. Madagascar's trying to run away. Madagascar, stay. Stay, Madagascar. Oh, Madagascar really does not want to stay where it's supposed to. Wants to go on an adventure. Madagascar's going Roman. Okay, I've almost got the mat peeled off. Come on, Bessie. Sorry, apparently I talk to my projects like they're cows. I think that's something I picked up from my husband. <laughs> He's always called something Bessie. Okay, so I'm going working through Asia now. Just got to make sure some of these islands over here don't peel up. There we go. My islands are staying down. Woohoo! Oh, lost Hawaii. We lost Hawaii. Hawaii down. Okay. Hawaii, go back, please. There we go. Hawaii. Hawaii, stay. Oh, Hawaii ended up one big island. Whoops. That's my bad. Okay, there we go. So now it's not on the backing anymore. It's all on the transfer tape. Do you see how it's all on the transfer tape there? So now you're going to take it and you're going to lay it on your jar. Just like that. And this is another way where you're going to want to use that scraper to get... You see how it's on my jar like there?
Use that scraper, get those islands down. Uh-oh. Guys, I lost Japan. Japan, where did you go? Oh, it's on my finger. I lost Japan. My finger. Sad day. Okay, Japan, we're going to fix you. Don't stress. We'll fix you. Oh. We can make it work. We'll put Japan back where it's supposed to go. So just really get that down. And then peel. Oh, look how nice that's peeling. You see how I'm peeling that transfer tape off and it's sticking just like it's supposed to. Wonder of wonder, miracle of miracles. Oh, that piece isn't sticking like it's supposed to. There we go. So just peel slowly. And watch that everything is sticking where it's supposed to stick. La. Okay, now I gotta put your band back where it goes. It's not weird that I'm gonna pull up. A, let's pull up a world map. <laughs> Make sure we've got Japan in the right spot. Okay. Okay, Japan. Let's put you back where you go. Right here. Uh, seriously, guys, Japan totally ended up on my finger instead of on the jar. Awkward. Okay, so there we go. See how we've got our world on there. So now we just need to do the same thing with our all and Z. So our all and Z is right here. Bro, it's just French for let's go for those who are not Dr. Who fans. Um, and you can actually use the same piece of tra the transfer tape more than once, which sometimes I think it actually works better after you've used it a couple of times. So we're just going to lay, oh, there's the other part of Japan. I found it. I was like, I wonder why Japan is such a, has such a funky shape on this he doesn't really. I found him. Hi, Japan. Okay. Come on, Japan. You know you want to go. You know you want to go home. Go home. There you go. There you go. Okay. So now you're going to take your same piece of transfer tape. Let's not um, use more transfer tape than we have to. Hey, look. Guys, I'm having a moment. I found Hawaii. I found Hawaii. All my little island nations are, and states are trying to run away from me. Okay, let's get Hawaii back on the jar where it's supposed to go. Maybe. It's sticking in my finger. Come on, Hawaii. You know you want to go back into, into the water. That's not exactly Hawaii, but that'll work. Okay. So now we've got our transfer tape on top of our all and Z. We're going to go ahead and smooth that down, trying to get it to stick to the transfer tape instead of the backing. So those of you that are just joining us, I see new people popping on. I am Deborah from Housewife Eclectic. I do a lot of fun geeky crafts that have a little nod to Doctor Who or Harry Potter. Okay, let's peel. Let's see. Oh, dang. This, you know what is really good about this glitter vinyl is it's super sticky. It really wants to stick to the materials that you put it on, but it also just makes it a little bit harder to transfer it off of what you've got. So it's awesome for the lasting power of your um, project. It does make getting it to um, <laughs> Virginia's <laughs> laughing at me that I talk to my. I do. I talk to my projects all the time, guys. <laughs> like, like don't. Oh no, I lost my. I lost my L. Come back, L. I think it, 
I think it helps you keep from going crazy when you're crafting because sometimes crafting can be not as much fun of an adventure as I want it to be. Sometimes, especially like my my eight year old when she was five and she was in kindergarten, she went to kindergarten one day and she goes, she told her kindergarten teacher, she's like, my mommy doesn't swear very much, but sometimes when she pulls out her sewing machine, she swears a lot. And I was like, it's true. Telling family secrets to our kindergarten teacher. Okay, I've got two A's and an L on my Allen's off of the paper and on my transfer tape. Ooh. See, they are, this glitter heat transfer is, I'm not glitter. See, I use a lot of heat transfer, so I say heat transfer a lot. This glitter vinyl is sticky, which is awesome for the longevity of our project. It means it's really going to last. Just makes it a little bit of a pain in the booty when you're trying to transfer it. Come on, little O. Hello. Where's the N? Oh, the N wanted to just stay where it was supposed to. Okay, so we have an S, a dash, and a Y. Let's see if we can do it. Mm. Ah! Oh, stuck my finger. Oh, no, I put it back on, not straight, because of course I did. Let's put that back on again. So I don't know about you guys today. It is actually a holiday where I am, which is kind of fun. And it's Pioneer Day. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope I haven't left any other country either. Poor Hawaii and Japan. That's okay, New Zealand's still there. See, we got New Zealand. We're good. And Iceland. Iceland, we, we got Iceland. It's all those little island nations that just want to run away. Okay, so we are working on our S, getting our S to stick to our transfer tape right now. So I'm going to just peel up a little bit and then use my hook to push the S down. It doesn't want to stay. There we go. Phew! That was a uh-oh, I may have mangled, oh, our dash stayed. And our Y looks like it's staying all by itself. Woohoo! Now I gotta fix the S. I mangled it a little bit. See? Can you see? Okay, yes. Let's fix you. No need to be sad. Cut him. I don't know if I have time to recut him for you though. So we'll just put the rest on the jar and then I it'll can just say Lonzi for a while and I'll have to fix it. I can't figure out where my A went. Dang it. Nope. This I bet it's on me. That's usually like my husband will come home and he'll be like, why do you have an S stuck to you? Dang it. Where did my A go? Okay, so we'll just make it say Lonzi for now, and then we'll I'll recut an A. Let's see. So we're just gonna lay that on our jar again. Smooth out. Seriously, I cannot figure out where the A went. It really must be stuck to me somewhere. Hmm. So smooth it out, then peel slowly. Like I said, this is really, the glitter vinyl is super, super sticky, so it should stick pretty well for you. Ah, 
Oh, this is giving me fits. He does not want to stay. He wants to go on an adventure. Come on, us. There we go. Seriously, where did my A go? I have to cut another S too. It's not loving me today. So there we go. Can you see? What I'm saying? The gold is really hard to see on the. There we go. Cute. So I love the way it turned out. So if you want, you can just leave. The, the lid off. You can go ahead and punch a hole in the top of the um, jar, lid, thing so that you can slip change in it or you can leave the jar off or leave the lid on and just unscrew it every time you want to put change in it. It's totally up to you. Um, normally this would say Alonzi. Just this Alonzi. Alonzi Alonzo. So there we go. Cute map. Cute words. I super love it. So once again, those of you that just tuned in, I am Deborah from Housewife Eclectic. If you just tuned in and you want to see how to make the whole jar, as well as me like losing countries all over the place, you can go ahead and share this to your timeline. Uh, no, uh, Rebecca wants to know if it's still on the... No, because I remember pulling it off. That's the funny thing. So it must have... She wants to know if my A, because I know I weeded the A, because I remember weeding the center of the A, because I was telling you to make sure you got your centers and everything. So I know I weeded it off, um, so I don't know, usually if something happens like that, it's usually stuck to my arm from where I dragged it across by a weeding. That's not the case today, so I don't know where it is. So if you, you can always save your um, transfer tape, just stick it back on the backing of the transfer tape, and then you can save it for another project. And they're usually good for, you know, at least a few transfers, which is nice to save it. Oh, guys, I told you. I knew it was on me somewhere. I found my A. I stuck my, ha my hand in my hair and it, it was scratchy. Let's fix this. You ready for this? See, it usually ends up sticking <laughs> to me somewhere. So I found my A. It was on my pinky. So when you have a simple shape, you don't necessarily need transfer tape. You can just... Um, stick it like a sticker. Which, if someone heard me, there's lots of people in the craft world that hate when vinyl is called a sticker. But guess what? It's sticky on the back. So it's a sticker. Yay! I found my A. It was on my pinky. There we go. Hollandy. There it is. So, um, that's a fun, you know, easy, fun change jar to keep for you to save for your next travels. So those of you that are just joining in, I am Deborah from Housewife Eclectic. If you want to see the whole video from the whole beginning and you, um, or you want to be able to skip around and watch another part again, you can go ahead and share this to the timeline. And when I get off here in just a second, it will allow you to skip around in the video and, and kind of see what you want to see. Um, <coughs> also, so, um, my, if you go up into the description, I am live on Spaceships and Laser Beams, which is this page which you're on right now, um, every other Monday at 1130 Mountain, so that is 130 Eastern. And then every Friday, I am live on my page, which is Housewife Eclectic, making fun Harry Potter and Doctor Who crafts and all sorts of crazy things like that. So if you want to go ahead and go up into the description, you can give my page, my Facebook page a like. Um, and that will let you see the next time I am on live doing something crazy like losing the A stuck to my pinky. So, um, if you, I am excited to, to, um, have spent time with you guys today and I am, Rebecca wants to know if I enjoyed my birthday dinner. It was very good. I was very excited. We ended up going to Outback and guys, <laughs> Outback put all the calorie counts on their menu, which I think is just cruel. Like they shouldn't have done it. Because now you can see how much everything is going to cost you calorie-wise before you eat it. And I just think it's mean. Shouldn't have done it. But I still had my cheese fries because it's my birthday. I only have cheese fries once a year. And they're delicious. And like 2,000 calories. Which I did not want to know. So, 
Um, this is the project we did today. If you want to see it, go ahead and share it to your timeline so that you can go ahead and see the whole thing. And I will catch you on Friday if you want to go ahead and give my page a like. We'll see you later.